absolutely huge, huge news, a huge development. As Jake said, a pickup uh, in Pennsylvania, but also a kind of moral victory for Democrats on a national level, uh, because this was where they went. I mean, President Biden basically was there so much. Oh, there you go. Look at how excited the people in Fetterman headquarters are right now as they not only understand that they that their candidate won against some pretty big odds, but they're enjoying seeing it being projected on CNN. And Dana, uh, you know, one thing I really cannot get out of my head, just going back to earlier in the night, when we saw those exits coming out of Pennsylvania, that basically said that voters had made Fetterman's health as an issue a wash. And then on the question of, has Oz lived long enough in the state to represent it effectively? 55% said no. To me, that was, I think, probably the first sign that we had tonight that something was gonna be happening in Pennsylvania. Republicans thought this race was over after that debate. Uh, they thought that it had disqualified Fetterman, and the voters tonight said something totally different. Yeah, they I, were wrong. I think, Abby, this was a personal judgment. And yes, obviously, John Fetterman had a stroke, and he still f shows the effects of it. But voters were saying, we trust this guy, we think that he's there for us, and they just didn't feel that about Mehmet Oz. They thought he, you know, was a guy who came in to try to pick up a seat across a state line and that he wasn't there for them. I think it was a personal endorsement of their faith in Fetterman and really kind of a personal re uh, rejection I, of Mehmet Oz. I, I should also say what they're seeing in Fetterman headquarters is a delay of CNN, uh, which is why you're seeing us kind of twice. Uh, we are expecting John Fetterman to come out soon. We talked earlier in the night about how this it has been a race of two very strong, very distinct personalities. And it was uh, certainly a national race, but also about these two men, like you were both talking about. I think we also need to note that this, this is very much a proxy battle and has been between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Yeah. And on this one, Joe Biden won. Yeah. He was there so many times. And the only reason Mehmet Oz is and was the nominee for the Republicans is because of Donald yeah. Trump. I mean, Joe Biden was is a native son of Pennsylvania and, and really leaned that into that really hard. But what made this impossible, frankly, for Mehmet Oz at the end was that- Here he is, he's coming out. Um, John Fetterman. And, and Finish your thought. What made it impossible for Fetterman or for, for Oz was that he was trying to sell two different messages, appearing with okay. Trump while also okay, let, he was let's listen from in. him. sure really what to say right now my goodness yeah. I am uh, uh, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I mean uh, So I am, I'm so humbled. Thank you so much, really. Thank you. Thank you. Like it's, I, what is it? It's like 1.30 in the morning and you're still here hanging in? We, la <laughs> we launched this campaign almost two years ago. And we had our slogan. It's on every one of those signs right now. Every county, every vote. Every county, every vote. And that's exactly what happened. We jammed them up. We held the line. 
I never expected that we were going to turn these red counties blue, but we did what we needed to do, and we had that conversation across every one of those counties. And tonight, that's why I'll be the next U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania. Th thanks to all of you, all of you. Thank you, thank you so much. That made me as grateful right now. And I, I just, I wanna, I, I wanna thank, of course, all of all these supporters, uh, all across Pennsylvania, all in this room, all across the nation, everyone that chipped in ten bucks to help us get here. Thank you. And, and, yeah, and and also I want to. I also really want to thank my my family. Uh, Yeah. yeah. My, my mother, my father, Carl, Susan, my brother, Greg. Where's, and where's Giselle? Where's Giselle? Everyone's favorite. Yeah, Giselle. Who six months ago, she saved my life. What? Walking out of a sheets bathroom, she recognized what was happening. And also, and my, and my children, Carl, Grace, August, August, hey, yeah, there he is. So, so everyone, and th just th thank you. And I also want to. I also want to thank my, my team as well, the, the, the best team. So many names, I, you know. Brendan, my campaign manager. Re Rebecca, Bobby, Joe, Jay, I mean Jason, everybody, all my team. You know, so many, so many that made that part of it. You know, I, and also thank all of the supporters also. Um, I'm just so proud of the race that we ran. And, you know, this campaign has always been about fighting for everyone who's ever been got knocked down that ever got back up. This race is for the future of every community all across Pennsylvania. For, for every small town or person that ever felt left behind, for every job that was ever been lost, for every factor that was ever closed, for every person that works hard but never got a, ever get ahead, I'm proud of what we ran on, protecting a woman's right to choose, raising our minimum wage, Fighting the union way of life. Yeah. Health care is a fundamental human right. Yeah. It saved my life and it should all be there for you when you ever should need it. Standing up to corporate greed. Making more things right here in America and right here in Pennsylvania and standing up for our democracy. 20 years ago, I came to Braddock to start a GED program. And I've and spent you're listening to uh, John Fetterman uh, giving his uh, victory speech in Pennsylvania, uh, a remarkable turn of events in a very closely watched and vitally, obviously, important race uh, to Democrats uh, uh, for uh, in this election. Um, <laughs> David Urban, yeah, I gotta go to you, son of, son yeah, of Pennsylvania. Exactly. So listen, it's incredibly hard for me to watch. Obviously, this is um, you know, this is the Pat Toomey seat, and before that, it was my former boss's seat, Arlen Specter, who held it um, so so proudly for so many years. And it's 
it's a big loss for Pennsylvanians, for Republicans in Pennsylvania. Listen, I hope, I wish John Fetterman the best. He, he won tonight. He's got to do a great job for all Pennsylvanians, all 12 million. Uh, congratulations and, and good luck. We need, we need him to do the best job. But look, it's a big blow for Republicans and Republicanism in the state of Pennsylvania. And, and, and this is a loss, which I think is going to reverberate across you know, the United States. And Amendment Oz it, it was handpicked by Donald well, Trump. Handpicked by Donald Trump, right? I, my good friend Dave McCormick ran the race. I supported uh, uh, Dr. Oz's opponent in this race, who I think would have been a far stronger candidate in this race and would probably be up there giving a speech tonight instead of John Fetterman. And so a lot of people are going to ask questions about, you know, can, can you lay this loss at the feet of the president, the former president? People are going to ask that coming tomorrow and the day after the day after in Pennsylvania. And what's you the governor? You lost the governor? You lost the governor's mansion? and a Senate race in Pennsylvania tonight. And, and I know Republicans across the Commonwealth are pretty upset right now.